President Trump leading Republicans on a final get out the vote push today, holding a campaign rally in Cleveland. The president has been very active on the campaign trail ahead of the midterms, even traveling to Florida to campaign for Rick Scott and Ron DeSantis. And it looks like he's going to keep campaigning right up until the polls open tomorrow morning. Our DC Bureau Chief Ross Palumbo is live to kick off our team election coverage. Ross. Well, Lauren Calvin, the president is campaigning all day long. He's already spoken in Ohio. He's about to land in Indiana. Then later tonight, he'll be in Missouri. In fact, he's doing so much, he won't be back here at the White House until 1.30 in the morning. That's actually on Election Day. But before the president left the White House, he told us how he thinks he's doing. Something's happening. We'll see. The president predicting Republicans will do well in the midterms. I think we're going to do very well. All of this despite his approval rating sitting at 39 percent, the lowest of any midterm presidency in more than 60 years. But Trump believing his rating and rhetoric won't hurt Republicans. Well, I don't think so, but I mean, I'm willing to accept that. Still, as he begins to stump through his final three states today. There is something going on, Ohio. That rhetoric. They would have said, how dare he make those statements. Still causing controversy. Oh, break up soon? No, kill more. NBC, Facebook, even Fox now saying they will no longer air this ad, portraying migrants as criminals. ABC never aired it. Some have called the ad racist and offensive. A lot of things are offensive. Your questions are offensive a lot of times, so, you know. After a weekend of attacks on migrants through Florida and several other states. So if you want more caravans and you want more crime, vote Democrat. If you want strong borders and safe communities, vote for the Republicans. This morning, the president again focusing on Florida, tweeting twice about Senator Bill Nelson, saying Nelson is a stiff, and saying, remember Florida, Senator Bill Nelson didn't call me once. Rick Scott called constantly requesting dollars plus for Florida. Vote Scott. He'll destroy Florida. Trump also taking aim at gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum, tweeting, if Andrew Gillum, the state will be a crime-ridden, overtaxed mess. Ron DeSantis will be a great governor. Of course, it's still not clear exactly how much the president is helping Republicans in Florida. But Lori and Calvin, we do know that on new polls out today, both Gillum and Nelson have a slight lead. And another barometer, we've had record early voting numbers. Six million people have voted early in Florida. And for the first time that I can remember in a midterm election, the Democrats have actually voted more. I think they're up about 25,000 votes. And certainly some record numbers in Miami-Dade County. Ross, thanks so much. We'll check back shortly. And